Hi, welcome to clickmeproject.com. Now let me discuss about the title of the process. Our title is Efficient Semi-Supervised Feature Selection, Constraint Relevance and Redundancy. The main objective of this process is to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of the feature selection process, to improve the classification performance, and also it is used for to remove the relevant features. This is the main objective of our process. Now let me discuss about the abstract of our process. In a machine learning mechanism, dimension reduction is uh, one of the process of reducing the number of random variables in any, any operations. Here we are using semi-supervised feature selection learning has been used to find relevant data and remove the relevant features. In this process, we are going to process of reducing the number of random variables and can be performed by two categories of techniques that is called feature extraction or otherwise called as feature selection. In this process, we show that the relevance requires two important procedures to provide the efficient feature selection in the semi-supervised context. For the relevance, we develop a filter approach based on a constrained relevation score. In a machine learning, it is a subfield of computer science and artificial intelligence that deals with the construction and study of the system that can learn from data rather than follow only explicitly programmed instructions. Here, semi super selection is one of the machine learning tasks. It will make use of unlabeled data for training, typically a small amount of labeled data with a large amount of unlabeled data. Process of random variables reduction is a significant task when dealing with high dimensional data. It can be applied to reduce the dimensional depth of the original data and improve the learning performance. The immediate effects of speeding up data and mining algorithms classification can easily progress so we can get the relevant features or information accurately. Now let me discuss about the data flow diagram of our process. In the process, first we have to select the data set, uh, uh, that is the input of our process. In the set, in the process, we have to select the input data set as um, medical data sets. In this, uh, we are using some data sets like cancer data set, diabetes data set like that. So after uh, we select the data set, insert the data set into the database, we have to select the constraints in the data set. After we select the constraints, based upon the constraints, we have to sub the subset, split the data set into the subsets. After that, we have to analyze the relevance value by using some similarity calculation, by using some correlation coefficient values, by using some Laplacian scores in our base paper. So after we analyze the relevance value, we have to eliminate the irrelevant values based on the computer's code value uh, in the data set. After we eliminate the relevant, irrelevant features, we have to analyze the relevant values. If there is any relevant value, means we have to eliminate the relevant features. After that, we have to predict the exact features in the subset as the, um, and we have to predict the, uh, what are the uh, data in the clusters in the NAND and predict the exact features in the data set. Now let me discuss about the demo of our process. So we have to run from the Java. So the title is Efficient Demo to Produce Feature Selection, Constraint Relevance and Redundancy. Then we have to go to the how to select the data set of our process. So my data set location is in this one, my student is used as student, in that I have a set of external courses. And this is how to select the owner of the data set. After you select the data set, you have to convert the data set into the other format. After that, you have to create the table in the database. Then you have to create the database. After that, you enter the data, talk the data set into database. So here, in the error format, here we have extract the relation name, attribute, and data from the data set. So during that extract, click that extract button. That data from the data set has to be numbered into the database. Data are extracted. After that, we load the data set from the database. Then classify the data set based on the 
classes like it okay then again click start button in there to have the attributes and the area targeting the summary region for every attribute in the data set and click search button here we are targeting the entropy values and the entropy values and the new values after that here we are uh, targeting the relevant values here we are targeting the AR relevant values so uh, for every uh, label for every uh, class label in the data set we have to uh, calculate the relevant value for every attribute in the data set then select here we are going to apply the data set and the algorithm for new relevancy values then apply the similarity calculation by using the formula then select the key here we are showing the class label then eliminate the edges for removing the relevancy then click next step here we are the uh, base level class so we have a structure based upon the security model that we discussed. So here we are evaluating the performance of the effective attributes and non-effective attributes and the effective features and accuracy of the system and proposal system. This is a complete demo of our process. Thank you for watching.